Hi guys, thank you for tuning into my channel, The Professional PhD. I am Dr. Viola and I'm a field application scientist who has committed to bringing you quite a few field application scientist videos in regards to the role, in regards to the career itself. Why? Because it is needed. Field application scientists work in the scientific and medical affairs industry and we're not as talked about on the media or information level as other careers in this industry so that's what i do in this video i am focusing on how to be more organized in your role as a field application scientist this is important because you deal with so many different departments and have so many different business relationships at your company and even outside your company so being organized is key one of the first ways to be good and organized as a field application scientist is to prepare your documents beforehand. So prepare all the documents you will need. Print out any of the training guides that you may bring with you. Print out any agendas or have these things electronically organized. Or I should say, and have these things electronically organized. Because as you will see in the other video, I actually pointed out you should always have printed copies as a backup when it comes to training on site. Another way to stay good and organized as a field application scientist is to have a checklist or a couple of checklists. So you wanna have a checklist that helps you to prepare for the process, all the things that you need to do or need to have before you go to training. You wanna have a checklist for the things that you will train or teach them on. That's gonna be very important. You won't use that checklist while you're training or teaching, but in between during those little breaks, you'll start to refer to your checklist to make sure you've covered everything. I'll have a video in regards to that in the future. But the other checklist that you want is a checklist that deals with the follow-up process. The follow-up process is very important and a lot of times we just rely on our own minds to remind us of following up with a site. However, when it gets really busy, I guarantee you, sometimes you're flying so much and going to so many sites, you may let that date slip out the window. So if you have a checklist for the things that you've done, whether you sent them papers or made contact with each user, whatever it is, or whatever happens during your follow-up process, you'll have it checked off. And that's a good way to stay organized. So you have all of your documents prepared, your checklists, your plans, your agenda. You're ready to go, right? Not just yet. One of the things you wanna do to stay organized is you wanna put everything that you prepared and planned for in some type of shared document platform. So for instance, in one of my jobs, I use Dropbox a lot. And so that was a shared platform. Why is that super important? Because in case you lose anything, whether it's technically on your computer or your laptop or your iPad, or if you lose the actual tangible documents, you have a shared platform that you can refer to to get anything that you may be missing. And also any team members that may need to access details in regards to the training you're doing will be there. Very good for a manager to be able to access those things or your manager, because at the end of the day, it makes you just look so much more organized and you will feel more organized. Another good way to stay organized is to keep that jungle of files on your computer really, really organized. I know I'm using the word a lot, but after this video, hopefully that will be your model. I'm going to be organized as a field application scientist. The computer files on your computer are going to add up so quickly. You work with so many different departments, R&D, marketing, sales, the sites, the users themselves, articles you're receiving. Like you want to keep your computer files very organized one day i'll make a video in regards to like a good system that i've used but this part is very important as you of course get more trainings in or you're training more sites literally there will be so much information that's actually coming your way all right guys well thank you for tuning into this video i hope you found some useful ways to stay or start being more organized in your field application scientist role Please, if you like this video, if it was even a little bit helpful to you, please give it a thumbs up. That helps me to know these videos actually are helpful to you. 
please also subscribe so I can keep in contact with you throughout these videos and bring you more information. I look forward to connecting with you soon and I thank you for tuning in. Bye.